Detective Spy Cakes on duty. Here we go. All right, we're back at the police station here to solve another mystery. All right, boss, what's going on? Welcome back, detective. We've just had a call from a wobbly up in the mountain village. He says his house is haunted. Oh no. Things keep happening on their own. Find out what's going on up there. All right, will do, boss. Make sure you read the case board for more details. A haunted house? What? All right, let's check out the briefing here and see what's up. The location the call came in from. Oh no, this is high priority. The wobbly who made the call. And the haunted house. Oh, all right. That place does look a little haunted. Boss, I won't disappoint you. <laughs> Why do I look so awesome? Although I'm in my pajamas, but it's fine. You know what? Let's hop in our car and let's get to said haunted house and bust some ghosts. We're going to put them in handcuffs because you could do that, right? Yeah, I don't think it's actually ghosts, but maybe it is. You never know. All right, here we go. Let's go. I'm not scared of ghosts. I'm only scared, oops, of bad drivers. Uh, so just across this bridge is the mountain village. And somewhere in here is the house. All right. My car sounds a little broken. So I'm turning off the siren. Don't want to alert the ghosts anyways. They might run away. Um, look in here. Where is it? Uh, <gasps> right up there. A big green house that place does look a little freaky it looks haunted let's go in and see what is happening hello hello took you long enough you gotta help me this house is haunted Ooh. oh my gosh things keep happening on their own i need you to find out what's going on did you hear that? It sounded like a footstep, a knock, or something falling. I'm going to have to move houses, aren't I? No, buddy. No. You can stay here because you know what? I'm going to arrest these ghosts or whatever is going on. And you can, you'll stay here ni nice, peacefully for the rest of your life. All right, let's look at this TV. It's flickering. That's a common sign of a ghost. It says, this TV looks like it has been tampered with, but it's too tiny to look at properly. That's a pretty big TV, but okay, okay. Let's take a look around for more clues. We have the kitchen here. What's this? <gasps> look at this. It's running by itself. Another common indicator of a paranormal event. There is something wrong with this tap, but it is too small to see. What? What does that mean? Well, let's go investigate that weird knock we heard upstairs. Hello? It's probably going to be a cat, but... yeah. Hello? Oh my gosh. The books are on the ground. These books have fallen off their shelves. This must have been what made that noise. But any clues to how they fell are too small to see. Huh? What is it? Too small to see? Is it like a mouse or something? Hello? Anything in the bedroom? I don't see anything in this room. All right, that room is clear. What about, oh, what's this? The light just shattered. This bulb just knocked the power out. It must have been tampered with, but I can't see anything now with the lights off. I should head back downstairs and see if the wobbly can get the power back on. What is happening? I think this place actually might be haunted. How is the TV still working? Dude, your place is very haunted. Please put the power back on. I'm too scared to do it. Me? There's a switch for the power in the basement. You can get there through a door around the side of the house. Please hurry. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know what's going on here. This is a trap. This guy here is a murderer. You're not going to kidnap me, right? This is freaky. Okay, so I guess let's head outside and look for the entrance to that basement. <gasps> right here. Okay, I'm kind of scared to go down there, but here we go. We're going in. Oops. Um, that works, I guess. <laughs> We're in the basement. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is actually terrifying. I didn't think it was going to be scary. Let me grab a lantern. Maybe grab two. Oh, that's too bright. That's too bright. One lantern works. Hello? Hello? Oh, what is that? I, I heard mice or something. This is really freaky. I actually don't like this. Um, ooh. There are mice everywhere down here. I see. I hear squeaking. There's some boxes here. I'm going through that. Oh, uh -huh. hello. Hello. Um, is something going to pop out at me? I don't know. Okay, we got to look for like a power breaker or something. Wait, 
Top secret. Do not open. Whoa! I saw a mouse. I saw a mouse. Oh, there's a mouse. There's a mouse. Top secret. Do not open. What is in here? Looks like some office equipment. Oh, okay. That's nothing to be scared of. Another box here. Let me, let me go through. Ugh. All right. Am I going the right way? I honestly have no clue. <gasps> okay. I see a light over there. I think there's probably like multiple entrances to go. Oh, it looks like this guy just has like pet rats or something down here. I see. You know what it was? The mice probably just bit the cords and turned the power off. Here we go. Boom. Power's back on. There's not even any ghosts down here. Why is that guy being a big old wobbly baby? Although there are a bunch of entrances. I think they all lead to kind of the same area. Is there anything secret in here though? Hmm. <gasps> we got an arcade with a gift. Oh, money. Thank you. And look. A haunted piano. Oh, all right. Well, let's go back upstairs and see if that solved the guy's issues. He really needs to clean up down here, though. Okay, dude. I figured out the issue. Rats. Thanks for getting the power back on. Now I can think more clearly. You say you're struggling to see the clues? I have a pair of magnifying glasses that can help with that. Now, where did I put them? Oh, yes, they're in a box in the attic. Oh, attic. You can have them as long as you fix my house. Attic? That's usually where ghosts are. Okay, I'm gonna check the rest of the rooms. Uh, this one was clear, okay. What about this room here? Boo! Put your hands up. Okay, no one in there. Boom. Um, Nothing suspicious, but what about up here? Okay, I don't know if I like this. Hello? Hello. All right. Nothing creepy. You got some boxes. You got a teddy bear. And look over here. We have another box. This might be where the glasses are. Huh? There they are. <gasps> These glasses will allow me to see the clues up close. I should put them on and examine all the clues again. And there they are. Nice. So let's go look at the clues again. We have the light that shattered. Huh. Wait, something has made a tiny ladder on this cable. Wait, what? A tiny ladder? Is there little wobbly people living up inside this guy's walls? That's creepy. Maybe they used it to unscrew the light bulb. What the heck is going on? Okay, that's scarier than ghosts. People living in your walls? All right, all right, what about the TV? Hmm. Something has messed with the wires to make the TV flick on and off. Yep, we got not ghosts but little scary people in the walls. All right, let's check the sink. It looks like something has tampered with the plumbing and they've even left tiny footprints. Oh, that's freaky. I forgot about the books in the bedroom. Let's take a quick look. Huh. There are some tiny dusty footprints on the floor and a ladder on the shelf with more footprints. What does this all mean? Now, I have some evidence. I should head back and tell the Wobbly what I have found. Oh, he's not gonna like this. You say you found some evidence? Tiny ladders? Footprints? What does this mean? Uh, it's happening again. Get over there. Take a look. Hey, stop in the name of law. You're under arrest. Get out of this guy's house, you little jerks. A group of tiny Wobblies. They're scientists. Oh, from the Wobbly 51. They must have been messing with all the objects in the house to get our attention. Oh no, they must be my colleagues. I'm a scientist from up the mountain. We do all sorts of top secret tests there. That makes sense. These Wobblies must have got stuck in my lunchbox while we were experimenting and I must have brought them home with me. Oh. They have been trying to get my attention all this time. Well, they could have done it in a better way than making it look like ghosts. You must take them back immediately. The staff there will know what to do with them. Okay, here we go. Grab our lunchbox. We have to yeah, shake them, shake them like this. Probably shouldn't do that. We got to take them up to Wobbly 51 and save these people. Okay, let's open up this guy's car. I don't think he'll mind me borrowing this. There we go. Don't want to lose the little Wobbly people in the back there. Okay, we got to do this quick. Drift! Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Can you imagine them inside the lunchbox there? They're probably going flying around. Okay, I should probably drive more carefully. Watch out! Whoa! Oh, I thought I was driving on the right side of the road, but I was driving on the wrong side of the road. If that makes any sense, you got to drive this way right here. There we go. 
Yeah, sorry, wobbly people. Oh, I'm not the best driver. Oh, no. Are they still back there? Okay, good. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, that's what they get for scaring me. That's what they get for scaring me. Okay, here we are at Wobbly 51. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what I like to call it. The snow up here is very deep, and here's the gate into the secret laboratory. Open up! I got your colleagues! And they're very tiny. We have to unshrink them. Oh, look. The wobbly people in black suits. Hi. Oh, dear. Not again. This has happened before. Yes, hand that lunchbox over to me. We'll get those wobblies back to a normal size. Thanks for bringing them back. But make sure you tell no one about this place. Oh, uh, oops. It's top secret. Uh, all right, all right. Well, I need to report back to the station. You know what? I'm gonna borrow one of their planes. I don't think they'll mind, right? Let's take this one because it's blue. There we go. Fly up. Look at this, look at this. Barrel roll. <sighs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mountain. Mountain. All right. This is probably easier than just driving down, but, you know, it's a little more dangerous. Coming in for a landing. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. These glasses don't help my driving. All right. Another job well done, boss. Good job, detective. Another successful case. We've sent a memo to the mountain base asking them to be more careful in the future. You're getting quite good at this. I think you're due another promotion. From now on, you'll be a senior detective. <gasps> this rank gives you access to our no new hyper fast police vehicle. You earned it. What is that? Looks like there aren't any new cases coming in at the moment. Oh, unlocked police Supercar? What? Police supercar. Police supercar. Police supercar. What is that? What is this? What is this thing? Police supercar. Hold on. Look at that. Little spoiler on the back pops up. Boom. Speed boost. Lights. Sirens. This thing is awesome. Wait, there's a boost. Whoa. Oh my gosh. This thing is actually pretty fast. Oh my. Look at we're going so fast. We're going so fast. This was worth the haunted house. Oh, 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 okay. Don't de destroy my car. Don't destroy my new hyper police car. Let me know down below. Do you think this car is awesome? Well, I'm gonna hit an awesome jump with our new speedy car here. And the perfect place is the bridge. Let me back this up. And the bridge is going up. So here we go. Hit the boost. Hit the boost. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I think that's the farthest I have ever flew before. Oh no. But anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Remember, stay sweet and always drive all oh, responsibly. I ruined my new police car. Worth it.